back and look at that fight. Tyson didn't throw one uppercut the entire fight. Tyson's signature move is the uppercut. How many times did you see him knock people out with that one punch? How many times did you get knocked out in Mike Tyson's punch out with that uppercut? He didn't throw one of them in that fight. Jake Paul, Mike Tyson. When I first heard about this fight, I'm like, imagine this was 1986, Mike Tyson. Do you guys remember what it was like back then? In the arena, Mike Tyson's in the locker room, crowd is going crazy. He walks down the aisle and he looks like the last motherfucker on earth you wanna fuck with, right? He walks down, he opens up the rope, enters the ring, and then you see the pool scared asshole across from him shaking knowing that he's gonna get knocked out before the fight even starts that's 1986 mike tyson but now he's a 58 year old he's gonna be 58 by the time the fight starts grandpa senior citizen nobody wants to see mike tyson as an old man get beat up by somebody like jake paul who people love to hate to begin with and I'm thinking, isn't it a felony in this country to beat up old people, grandparents in this country? You go to jail for that shit. And if you think about something, right? Mike Tyson is a staple in American history culture. Nobody wants to see him get his ass beat as an old man. Nobody wants to see him lose to begin with. Nobody wants to see it. So Jake is getting a ton of hate on the internet for wanting to fight Mike Tyson. And Mike Tyson's only fought one time in the last 20 years. And that was against Roy Jones Jr. in an exhibition fight, which is not even a real fight. And yes, he looked great, in my opinion, at that age, fighting in that fight. But there's things I'm going to add to that. And many people are thinking, you know, they're seeing them, them fighting. They're saying, is this fight fixed? Is it real? How could they set this up? There's so many questions, and I have so many mixed feelings about it. And that's what we're going to talk about. So let's think about something. What does Mike Tyson have to gain in this fight? He's already one of the most famous men on this planet. He can go anywhere and everybody, nearly everybody from kids to old people, they're going to know who Mike Tyson is. So he has the fame. He's already known as one of the most legendary boxers ever, if not the most legendary, the most exciting, the person that everyone wants to watch in a fight. He's already known for that. So what does he have to gain in all this, right? There's only one thing, if you really think about it, and it's money. But this guy's done so much to turn, out, to turn around his life. He went bankrupt many years ago. He turned his life around. He has a successful podcast. He's already making tons of money. So you're wondering to yourself, why does he need more money? Why does he want to give a chance to somebody like Jake Paul, somebody that people, like I said, love to hate? Why, do they, why does he want to give him a chance to tarnish his legacy? But then I'm thinking, what if Mike Tyson wants to prove something to himself? 58 years old, comes out, beats the shit out of Jake Paul, 27 years old. Remember the Rocky movie, Balboa, he comes back, he wins. Maybe he wants to prove something to himself. And now if you think about Jake Paul, right? It's a lose for him, no matter what he does in this fight. Because if he wins, right? People are going to be mad that he beat up an old man, and not only a regular old man, but Mike Tyson, a person they never want to see lose. No one's going to respect him for beating him up, especially after he's already beat up fighters in their older age already. They're not going to be happy about it. But, but if you think about something, right, if Jake loses, he can just say, you know, I lost to the greatest boxer ever. It's almost an honor to get knocked out by Mike Tyson. Now, when the fight was first announced, Chael Sonnen was on the Patrick Bed David show, and he didn't even think it was real until he saw that it was reported by ESPN. And the first things that came out of his mouth 
is he said, he predicted what was going to happen. He said that people aren't going to respect Jake for doing this. I get it. So that's, that's just the thing that you deal with in fighting that Jake Paul will be up against. He'll get teased for taking this fight for one. He'll get teased for that. He'll work, work himself through that. But uh, yeah, if he goes out there and cleans his clock, they're going to come down on him. He brought up an important point. Do you guys remember the fight? Vitor Belfort against Evander Holyfield last year. I think Evander Holyfield was 60 years old. He looked like a crippled old man needing a cane in that ring. Slow, he couldn't react, no power. Yeah, it's uh, looking a little tough out there for Evander right now. Hard oh, good opera. They put him out. Good opera. Put him down. Get up, get up. The reflexes ain't the same when she's no. older. He's got, first thing he no, got. he's not the same. Blood in the I don't water. see him get hurt. Yeah, Peter knows that, knows that he needs this. Yeah, he's he's and who knows the damage that it could have happened to Vander Holyfield in that fight. And Chael was saying the exact same things that we're all seeing now as a result. People are pissed that Jake Paul is fighting Mike Tyson. And he also said Vitor had a problem. He's never fought since and nobody wants to sign Vitor Belfort to fight because of the backlash that he received for beating up an old man. They would not book him again. They wow. labeled him like an elderly abuser. Oh How God. dare you? How could you do this? Vitor <laughs> never got another fight. Vitor's training. He's right what in Florida. What a perspective. He couldn't get us. And if we learn something else from watching Holyfield in that fight, we realize that no matter how good you are, the speed, the power, the Olympic gold medals, the titles, nothing matters because age catches up to you no matter what. Eventually, age catches up to you. And there's nothing you could really do about that. But saying that, the last thing that you lose as you get older is your power. And that's what Mike Tyson has been known for, is his power. So if he still has his power, there's still a chance that he can do maybe what he wants to do and prove something to himself. Now, this is the most important thing I want to discuss in this video, okay? And this is going to tie this all together. None of this matters, what I said in this entire video, if it ends up being an exhibition fight, like the Roy Jones Jr. fight. Remember I said I was going to say something about that? If you go back and look at that fight, Tyson didn't throw one uppercut the entire fight. Tyson's signature move is the uppercut. How many times did you see him knock people out with that one punch? How many times did you get knocked out in Mike Tyson's punch out with that uppercut? He didn't throw one of them in that fight because exhibition fights aren't real fights. It's basically two guys going in there saying, you know what? We're not going to hurt each other. We're going to dance around a little bit. We're going to try to put on a show. But in the end, most of the time it ends up in a draw. It doesn't really matter. It doesn't go against their record. So if this ends up being an exhibition fight, you can throw out everything else I said in this video. And when people are saying, Things are staged. In my opinion, exhibition fight is a staged fight. But saying that, it's being reported that they're trying to sanction this fight and have the fight go under their records and it's going to be a real fight. But again, 58 years old Mike Tyson, 27 year old Jake Paul, is the state of Texas really going to sanction this fight? I don't know. We're going to have to see. But in the end, I, like I said, you know, maybe Tyson wants to prove this to himself. What a great story that could be. And I know for a fact, nobody wants to see him lose. But if there's one thing I could give Jake Paul credit for, look what this guy does in promoting fights. I mean, if you, if you think about this, right, it's on Netflix, free for people. The amount of people that are going to be watching this video is something crazy to think about. So if you have to give Jake Paul something to give him credit by, it's he knows how to get eyes on a fight. So we're going to see what happens. Hopefully this is not an exhibition match. And uh, again, I'm rooting for Mike Tyson. I've been on TRT for over 10 years, and it's done so much for my life to make me feel younger, stronger. And I recently signed with a company called Live Forever Health. I'm gonna put a link in my coupon code in the bio. And this company, you know, everything's been so seamless, you know, and I tested this out. You know, I would never recommend things to people unless I'm using it, unless I tested the whole process. And the process couldn't be easier. They sent me a kit to send my blood back in the mail. Uh, they got my results. We went, I met with the doctor, with the nurse practitioner. We went over my results. 
and then they gave me my prescription, sent me the testosterone in the mail, so it couldn't be easier. And again, this is a company I trust that I actually did the whole process with and pricing is competitive, similar to everybody else who does it, but this is a company that I use and a company, again, that I trust.